At Digital Refiners, we help petroleum distributors do two things, increase revenue and reduce expenses. Today we're going to talk about market penetration analysis, which is a balanced scorecard structured approach that you can use to increase sales in any market you want to focus this tool, whether that's markets you already have or markets you want to enter. This is what Digital Refiners is all about. We use technology, websites, web presence, social media, marketing and lead development weaponry to get you focused on increasing sales. It's about balanced scorecard initiatives and metrics to keep track of our progress, transparency and accountability, all dedicated to getting a good return on investment for the investment you're making in growing your sales. Today's topic, hey look, it's market penetration analysis and we're going to use the balanced scorecard discipline. We're going to show you how we apply that here inclusive of some scorecards and dashboards to keep track of what we anticipate should happen when we're done and how to tie that together with your marketing and social media to make sure you get the finished pieces working well for your sales team in the field. What is a balanced scorecard? Well the reality is it looks at four perspectives. In the center is your vision and in this case we're going to say that the executive ownership and leadership said increase sales. That looks like from a financial side, increased volumes, profits, new business, new markets. From the customer's viewpoint, they want service and product and value. They want their needs being met. Internally, some things have to be working well, like equipment and drivers we're going to be needing, leads and prospects, and our credit process to make sure we can handle all this new cash flow requirement. And in the long run, we have to have some core competency, leadership development skills, and some improvements in our accounting process. And this is taken from a real example of a distributor who wanted to increase sales in a potential new market. So we're going to talk about that from the standpoint of all new markets. This is a strategy map. It's another toolkit in the Balanced Scorecard program that allows us to get the team together and get focused on what the ownership said they wanted, increased sales. For today's example, understand that that's everything the team spoke about when the tribe assembled to build the increased sales execution plans for the ownership. But for our discussion today, we're really just going to look at that circled area. Recovery of lost business, new markets, whether that's organic or geographical new markets, and then new customers. What do we do in this process? Well, we go into your data and we mine that data out, represented by the blue box in the upper left. We go into your data, we pull it out, we extract it. We put it into some business analytics, BI, business intelligence tools, where we mash that data up, carve it up, redistribute the data in the forms of groups and segments, sizes of customers, frequency of purchases, average profitability per invoice, average invoice per gallon. All those elements come together very deep look inside your data and then we push that data into the missing part in the center of the slide your general ledger accounting systems are designed to keep track of enough information for you to cut an invoice and get paid there are all kinds of data metrics about your customers how many employees do they have how many offices are they in what's their annual revenue what FIPS code are they what NAICS code and SIC code are they and so we add back that missing data in order to produce in the upper right that very definitive profile we've taken your data we've analyzed it and then we've added profile elements that allow us to score it and rank it with that you know everything about your customer base in each of the segments that you're currently doing business we then focus those scored and ranked profiles out towards the public, out to those new prospect market areas. And in the lower right, what ends up happening is even if it's a market you're in, your salespeople are driving by prospects every day. And they may have a rational reason why they're not stopping in there, but the reality is you don't know about it unless they've told you. This analytic pulls together all of that missing information and it creates what the market should look like. Now the sales role is a lot different. Now it's not go find them. Now it's go service them. And do it in a priority. Here's all the people you could call on in your market, but here's the priority in which you want to work on this first. And the darker the number, the darker the color, the better the numbers for your profitability. It's a statistical look. And what it means is that it's measurable. 
So here's what we expect the market to be, and the scorecard helps the ownership, leadership, and key influencing people of your enterprise keep the sales team honest, focused, and accountable towards results. These scorecards let you know if you're winning or not. Now the rep is the common denominator that we're all needing to make sure gets the assignment clear, agrees to the assignment, and that's why they're part of the strategy map development, and that way you get the buy-in you need to go do the work that they've got to do. But at the end, we have dashboards to help them evaluate how they're doing. In the beginning of any new market, you've got a lot of unknowns, and the mission of the rep is discovery as much as it is to sell. We've prioritized the targets for them so we know which ones they want to work on first. And over time, you should see the unknown line decline because the rep's done the territory work. If that line's not moving, then you're not making the right calls. From there, we should see our graphs increasing and the enemy graphs decreasing. This is a deep look using statistical balanced scorecard approaches to your marketing it assuredly will improve your execution and performance. What takes it to the next level is how you integrate it with your website and your electronic marketing so that when the rep leaves and that first person that they've spoken to that didn't say yes has a pathway to go find out more information, we can trap and track to see if they're actually engaging any of the marketing efforts that we've got going on in the territory and support the team with very effective focused marketing that backs up the promise of being the best distributor in the area. We are built on the foundation that we want to increase your sales and reduce your expenses. You can reach us on the web on any of these vehicles in front of you. We look forward to speaking with you.